Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully installed the Node version. So if you try to see, so I have opened here the Visual Studio Code. And here I will try to do Node-V. So this is the version which I am trying to use it. If you want to use the latest version, I can use NVM use latest. So it will use the latest one. So access denied, why because, so we need to open this one in a, sorry, in the administrator mode. So let's try to open this one in the administrator mode. So I will be having a command prompt and let's right click on this one, run as administrator. So here I have opened here, run as administrator and here NVM use latest, latest. So let's try to use it. So if I try to press enter, now it will be using 18.8.0. So you need to run the command prompt in the administrator mode in order to change these all NVMs thing. Fine. Now let's try to start working on the Node.js code. So if you want to write your first code, so Node also provides a command line interface for us. That is nothing but REPL. So read, execute, print and uh, like that. So here you will be having this command prompt so here you can do all the node operations so for example if i want to do one plus one so i will be able to get the two if i want to do one comma two comma three dot includes so whether two is there or not if you want to see here you'll be able to see so all the javascript code whatever the javascript code you want to try to test it so node provides just like the php how you will have a command line interface java and all those things so for node also you will have an REPL extension so here the command prompt and where you can execute the lines <laughs> not only like this so you can also write the javascript code or node.js code in the separate file and you can execute the code so let's try to see it here i have opened the first so here this one so now let's try to create a new file so normally first we need to start the server why because so we need to open it in the local host so Node.js, there is no need of separate server like PHP, we use an Apache and we install the module like that we'll be using, right? So now the, for Node.js, there is no need of server. So we can inbuilt start the server using the Node.js. So that is the beauty of the Node.js. So let's try to create a new file here. And normally the file will be something like app.js or server.js. So normally the, the files will be, the entry file will be like this, app.js. Let's try to create it. So here in this node.js, so first I will try to do console.log hello world. Okay, so first letter. So this is just node.js is just like a JavaScript language only. How you will be writing the JavaScript language, you can write the JavaScript language like that only. Now if I execute this one, so for executing this one, what I need to do is so we can come out of this and let's close the, let's close this command prompt. And here I can open this command prompt. Here also you can open this, or otherwise. I can open this one in a separate so here I will try to open command prompt so this is a command prompt here we will be having the base basic node app and in this one what I will do is here I will write node app dot js if I try to execute this one see the same output whatever the console I have given so that is the, the console we are able to see it in the command prompt Whereas in the browser, if you try to read the console and here in that browser, you'll be able to see in the console. Here our console is this one only, right? The command prompt only. So here we are able to see. It. Let's move on to the another one. So here, whatever the JavaScript code. So whatever the JavaScript code you want, right? So for example, function add of a comma b and I can have it here. So return a plus b, I can write it and this code will be in such a way that if you want you can remove this add okay it is something like add and you can have it here so you can create a function so like this also so let add is equal to like this also you can create it so now this is an arrow function and here if you want to call one comma two one comma three and you can do the console.log so however normal you are writing the code so you can write it the code like this now if I try to execute, so whenever you have written a code, so you need to execute it here. So hello world and also we are able to see the output as 4. So this is how we will be executing. Now let's try to create a server in the node. In the node. So normally for creating the server, what we need to do is, so I am deleting this all the code. So first we need to include the core modules. 
so node js comes with a core modules some modules you, you will be having why because in order to have an http in order to interact the file system in order to have the os so like this so these are some the, some of the core modules will be there which you can ins which you can use it in the javascript language so that is the reason we will be using the node js so here in order to run the server we need to load http is equal to so here we will be using require of http okay so now this http comes from the node js core module so these are available in the node js so here this requires so now after getting the required now let's try to create a server http dot create server and this create server if you hover here it will take a function it will take a function and returns the server here so let's try to have it a constant server so here you will return a server and this one takes a method callback function and this callback function will have a request and a response and in this one i can do console.log of request so we can do console.log of request that's it now in order to make the server up and ready so we need to use server.listen so you can provide the port whatever the port is required so you can provide the port here that's it now if i execute this one so let's try to execute now the node js executes here so it will try to give uh, it will try to uh, ask the axis so let's give the axis and here node js is running now if you see here if i try to refresh this page so we are able to see some code so but that's not the actual code so let's see localhost slash 3000 so i am using 3000 right if i try to use this 3000 and if i go here see here i am able to see some data okay here i am able to see some data that this data is nothing but a request so here i am able to see the request why i am trying to do here the request right so this request is nothing but whatever the request is coming from the client so we are trying to make a request from the client so the client whatever the client it will be sending you so it, it will be coming in the request request variable so the request will contains all the information like the what is the url what is the ip address what is the uh, browser and what are the headers so these are all sent to the sent from the client to the server and the response is nothing but whatever we are sending it to the client so here what i can do is for example so the normal things what you'll be having is request.url and what is the type of request so here it will be having a method and also you can have request.headers like this you can have it so if i try to whenever you are trying to run it so you need to stop and you need to rerun it again so here see here we are able to get slash get if i try to do something like slash leela web dev so i am using some internal url let's try to press enter and if you try to see here so now if you try to see let's try to stop this one and here i will open the same thing and if you see yeah here we are able to see slash leela web dev and get request so like this we are able to get the request so what is the type of url and so many things will be there the browser these all things you'll be having now let's try to send some data to the client so now the client has requested the home page or something like that and then now let's try to send that one so how we how we can send it is so here you can write something like so you can send the headers also so if you want to send something like response dot headers or otherwise set headers set header and here we can set one common type type is the content type and in this content type what i will try to send is so the content type what i will be trying to uh, send is so we, if you want we can also keep it so content type i will try to send text slash html okay or otherwise application slash json so if you try to send application slash json so if you want you can send it and now you hear response dot write so you can use this response dot write it will try to send the chunks of data and otherwise otherwise you can have response dot end and you can send the data also here i am trying to send html so if you want you can have a multiple multiple response dot writes also here i can open this html and here i can write uh, head and in this one i can write title leela web dev so these are all string we need to send the string data and here i can have multiple response dot write here i can send 
body and in this body here I can write uh, I will write h1 hello leela web dev so that's it now we can close the HTML also if you want here response dot end I will try to close here also last data you can send it HTML so now after the response dot end we should not write any response so here the re sending of the response is completed now if you try to see the data we are trying to we are telling that I am sending a JSON data but here actually we are sending the HTML data how it will try to look it look like let's try to see it so whenever we are trying to write so we need to stop here and we need to run it again that's it now if you try to run this one so you can write the internal also see the HTML is rendered as an JSON object something like something like normal text it is trying to display why because we are telling to the client that the data what I am trying to send is a JSON request but here actually what I am trying to do I am try here I am trying say, saying that the data what I am trying to send is a JSON request but actually what I am trying to send here I am sending is the HTML so what we need to tell here instead of telling we need to tell text slash HTML not the uh, application slash JSON now if you try to see the output we need to rerun the node.js again if I execute this one now it will be rendered as a HTML so if you try to see control U and this is the HTML which we have written it. and in this one you can able to see the title also as Leela web dog so this is how we will be right will be handling the request and also the response on the node.js so in this video we have learned about how to create a basic server and also how to handle the basic request and the response also we have checked it so this is how we can send the data to the uh, client and also we can receive the data through the request headers like that hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you